Hello everyone, Jeff from the Juju UI engineering team here, bringing you the latest feature release of the Juju GUI. It's been about six months since our last video, and since then there has been 13 minor releases covering everything from minor UI fixes to entirely new features. Now with the GA of Juju 2 release coming very soon, we're ready to unveil the new enhanced model management in the Juju GUI. The new GUI allows you to take advantage of Juju 2's multi-user, multi-model functionality as seamlessly as you worked with a single model in the past. You can now create new models, select which region in your cloud to deploy to, add new credentials, and choose which credentials to use when deploying new models. The first feature I'd like to show you is the additional login method. You can now log into controllers using your Ubuntu single sign-on account, at which point you'll be presented with a canvas to work with before creating and deploying a real model on the controller. You can see this by clicking the model switcher to list your models, which you can see I have none. From here, I can also open up my user profile page, which shows me my charms, bundles, and models. What I'm going to do first here is search for the canonical distribution of Kubernetes and add that bundle to my canvas. Once the GUI processes all of the necessary information, I'll deploy this model into the cloud provider. So as you can see here, I don't have a model name, so I'll set one of those up. I also haven't yet set up any cloud credentials on this controller, so I'll do that now as well. Next, I'm going to select the region to deploy this into and save the credential. You can now see the type and quantity of machines that will be instantiated and the applications that will be deployed, as well as a list of all of the individual actions that will be performed to your new model. And now to deploy. While Juju goes off and deploys Kubernetes, I can show you some of the changes to the inspector. As you already knew, you could create relations by dragging the relation icon from one application to another on the canvas. But now you can also do it all from the inspector. Simply by visiting the relations section in the inspector, you can now create, view, and remove relations without leaving the application inspector. By viewing the unit section, you can also see all of the units deployed of this application and their statuses, so you can easily scale it up or down. Now, with some movie magic, I'll fast forward to the completion of the canonical distribution of Kubernetes being deployed, at which point you can now see that we have a running Kubernetes cluster, all from within the Juju GUI using Juju2. To get the latest release of the Juju GUI, be sure you're using the latest release of Juju 2 and simply open up your console and run Juju Upgrade GUI. If you have any questions or comments, you can file an issue on our GitHub repository. You can find us on the Juju mailing list or on hash juju on irc.freenode.net. I've included these links below. Thanks for watching and we hope you enjoy the latest feature release of the Juju GUI.